We are live. And, yes, I thought when they, see, back when they uh, sent the missiles, well, we had the Israel strike on the consulate or whatever it was. Gold didn't react much. Remember, we all thought, oh, wow, look at here. Gold is going to, it's going to skyrocket. Didn't happen. Then, uh, Iran shoots back. First time ever. It's never happened before. Never has Iran directly attacked Israel because they've always used these little groups. And by the way, if uh, Israel does not take care of uh, Hezbollah, they haven't accomplished the thing. They're going to have to eliminate them too. And, and I mean, this war, they're gonna, it's going to probably take them two, two and a half years to do it. Everybody wants it over. It's, that, that's out of the question. That's not going to happen. Uh, JK's here. OC's here. JM's here. Chef's here. I think some of them might have left. I kind of was late getting back on uh, or getting started. Um, then Israel hits Iran inside of Iran for the first time ever. And by the way, they're also hitting Iraq, uh, Syria. I even heard something about Pakistan. Something was bombed in Pakistan. So, I mean, it's getting wild. Of course, now Israel's not saying they're doing it. So, when something happens, you know it's Israel, but Israel's not really saying, hey, that was us. How you like that? Uh, Joseph Lopez is here. Beto's here. Or as uh, um, Tuli says, Beto! Anyway, I had to do that. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, what does it take now? Because gold went up quick, so quick, and so high, so fast. Now it's not moving. I mean, it just it went up like a few minutes, and then it went right back where it was. So it's pretty much at the twenty four hundred level. It looks like to me it's leveled out. It looks like to me it's peaked, and I'm not thinking it's going to go up much more than that. Because what what could happen if that doesn't push gold up to say twenty five hundred, twenty six hundred? What would the collapse of the American economy? I, that wouldn't. That would be a depression. That would make it go down. So what is it that's going to happen that's going to make gold go on and all the way to 3,000? What's going to do it? What's got to happen for that to happen? I don't think, I don't see how anything else could do it. That's, this is pretty serious stuff. And I'm going bam, bam, back and forth. And we, we got to watch Iran now. They may attack something of Israel. More likely the thing to do would probably be kidnap Israelis and hold them as hostages like they held the American hostages back in the 70s. Uh, 79. So maybe something like that, but I just don't know what's going to, what's going to push gold higher now if that can't. That's what I'm saying. So my theory is the people that bought, you know, you bought in at uh, 2300, 2350, you're probably going to be stuck with that gold for quite a while before you can even, even try to break even on it. Uh, so I know I, I was worried about that happening. I've said, you know, something that skyrockets upward always skyrockets downward. So it's just the law of averages. So I, I'm very concerned that that's going to happen. Let's see what the people are saying here. David Carlisle, he's everywhere. He's even here. Uh, I've been looking, you know, I, I blame Tuli for that. She was talking about how all this silver she was finding. So I go, the first time I go look at the Coinstar, it's the mother load. I get about a dollar and change out of it. No silver, but I got a dollar out. It has not had any money in there since that first time. The first time it did, I have not seen money in there. Uh, I have not seen anything in there to get. So I don't know how Tuli does it. Oh, passion's here. Uh, I, yeah, but what's that going to be? What's what's going to happen here? A terrorist attack? Possibly if it shut the economy down. Uh, you know, when we had COVID, remember remember how high metals got? I mean, if they just took off. Uh, what's going to be that event that's going to happen? See, I, I just don't see that happening. I mean, uh, usually, remember, they gave about a year's notice on this COVID. They said, you know, It'll be here within a year, and it'll be a mess. I haven't heard those projections on anything yet. So I don't know what that's going to be that they try to set us up for and say, hey, it's going to be bad, and it's going to happen 
right about election time, we think. And so, but I don't know. So, uh, well, they are cyber attacking um, Iran. There's no doubt that Israel's doing that to them, too. Um, and of course, Iran will never admit you hurt them. It's not in their DNA. You could be blowing stuff up left and right. They'll tell their media. They control their media 100%. So they'll say, put a picture up from 10 years ago. Sunny clouds, sunny skies. Uh, great. And they, they might put pictures up, show pictures of it, tell you it's right now. And it's from 10 years ago. I mean, they, they will not let you see any damage. They will not admit there was damage. <clears throat> they, do, they will never admit that Israel is superior to them in any capacity. Uh, that's just the way they are. They've always been that way. Very controlled. The media is very state controlled. So we don't know. They show that picture of that mountain. And they say under that mountain is one of these nuclear plants. And then they say, oh, look, nothing's happened. You know, we don't know how old that picture is. That picture could have been five years ago, six years ago. So it's probably not accurate. It probably was not. And if, if you look, look for the date, the, the dates or whatever it is on there. Usually... When something's filmed, you see a date, and it's moving that like seconds real fast, and it's telling you when that picture was taken. So I don't even know if that's real. So it could have been massive damage, and we just weren't allowed to see it. Uh, I have seen, I guess, from the Israeli fighters, I've seen some coverage, and they definitely did take some stuff out. There's no doubt they did. Um, but this way, too, if, if Iran does that, Iran then can say, well, we're, we didn't respond because nothing happened. You see what I'm saying? So if they can either respond if they want to, or they can say no because nothing happened. And that's why, because they don't want to report that something did happen. So, but that's Iran. That's how they do things. Craig's here. I haven't seen him in a long time. So, who knows? I, I'm just, it's just another reason why I'm very leery of buying gold right now. Again, 10 carat, 14 carat pair of earrings come up. I get them for 10 or 15 or 20 bucks. I'm going to do it. But I'm not going out of my way to really say, hey, I, let me, let me get gold for 90% of the spot price. I'm not even wanting to do that because I believe most likely gold is going to be heading the other direction here soon. And like I said, if you can't, Shocked the world into buying gold with what's been going on the last couple of days. I don't know what will. Uh, yeah, but but if the dollar goes down, that's depressionary. Uh, and we know we know they're not going to lower interest rates. They they might once once. Usually, that's what fuels gold. You lower the interest rate, it's cheaper to buy. Bam. I mean, people just start buying it. They, they, they kind of want it. They don't want the cost of it. So then they'll buy it. And so that helps with the, with gold going up. When they raise the price of interest, uh, raise interest rates, generally gold goes down. You remember in the 70s, they raised it to 20% to get a hold of inflation. When they did, the metal started going down. You know, 81, it was starting. They did it, what, in the first of 81? First quarter, and then bam, it just went down, and it continued to go down. And then it got down to where I bought in, which was it continued to go down until 2003 or four, And then it started coming back up some. That's good. You get coats in Hawaii? I would think Hawaii's got really good weather and... Uh, not like here, you know, here, not Hawaii, but here, the weather can, and probably same thing for uh, Passion, Jessica, she could probably say, the weather can be, it can drop 40 degrees in one day. Now, that's enough to make you sick. So if you're out at 82 degree temperatures and all of a sudden it drops to 40, and we've had stuff like that happen in a 24-hour period, that's how you get sick. So we here can get sick from that. Because we have such swings in the temperature. But I would think Hawaii would be pretty much 70 to 80 all the time. And, you know, I would think, well, that's that's only 
at most a 10 point drop. That's that's not too bad. So, anyway, it's just something to consider. I mean, I've been watching it. I can't figure it out because I was one of them out there saying, "My lord, if this happens and that happens, go to the go just going to it's just going to skyrocket. It's going to take off. You know, it's just going to keep going." But it didn't happen. And so I just don't understand that. Because generally speaking, that type of stuff, it really drives up metals. So. So how many we got in here anyway? Ten? In and out, ten off and on. Uh, so the best thing to do, I think right now, is hang on to this and wait. Wait until you see a significant drop. Um, and if it goes down to even even 3,200. No, I mean 2,200. If it were to go to 2,200, maybe even then it'd be, be safe to buy. But I'm, I am going to set it out for a while and... Uh, I think silver's still good. I think silver's still good buy. I know some people on here are saying, hey, not even silver. You know, it, they think it's too high. Well, I mean, it ain't near 50. So, I mean, I don't think it's too high. Dave's not here. Yeah, if you can get deals, Craig, I mean, the same thing I said earlier before you got here. For 10 carat, 14 carat, uh, Gold earrings come across my path. Uh, I'm going if I can get them for say thirty or under. I'm probably going to buy them. You know, I will for that because I'm significantly under the spot price. But I'm just saying, man, from gold, I'm going to be very, very, very selective. Platinum is a great thing. What I was hoping, this is what I was hoping. I'm being greedy. I was hoping gold would go to three thousand. And then I, I said, if it goes to 3000 and platinum don't make any movements, I'm selling probably all my gold jewelry. I'm going to take that money and I'm going to get platinum with it because it'd be three to one. And I've never seen it three to one. Go three three times as valuable as or marked or as valued as platinum. And I want the platinum because I think it's going to go up. So that's why I was hoping for. Didn't happen because I wanted it. That's why it didn't happen. And if it would have happened, that's what I plan to do. Because three to one is better than two to one. And I would love to do that. And I think in the long haul, I'm going to be better. Because I think in the long run, or at least, you know, until, unless we collapse or something, gold is going to go back down. And then I could have taken advantage, gotten the platinum. And I think platinum, is the, it, it almost could only go up. And so it puts me in a better position. That's what I really wanted to do. Of course, I could change my mind. If rhodium goes to, say, 750, I might sell the gold and put it in rhodium instead, since rhodium has gotten to 30,000. And since I know, kind of know how to get rid of it. And, uh, man, but taxes would be a pain. I would try to break it. I probably would want to buy it in smaller amounts. I don't think I'd go for the one ounce or one, uh, one ounce bars and one ounce coins. I think I'd go for a one tenth if I can find them. I think I'd, I'd break it up a little bit. No, JK got, yeah, he wants something on the wheel, didn't he? I can't do it. Uh, Yankees got so many people in there. All I get on my screen is a little circle going round and round, so I can't hear them. The chat doesn't, well, the chat kind of works, but. That's all I can do is kind of pay attention to the chat because then I can't hear what they're saying. And I just finally get frustrated with it. I go back out. I come back in. No difference. Uh, I, I wait. No difference. So I get frustrated with it. And I just say, well, I can always watch it later. And then I leave. Of course, that takes me out of the running for winning anything. But and really, sometimes Sal does that. You know, occasionally he gets 500 people in there and I have some trouble with his. It's probably a couple of computers old. It's got a lot of stuff on it. And it's just, I probably need to get another one. Mm 
<laughs> Yankee Rig Wheel. Oh, Homestead's here. So, anyway, just something to think about. I would be very careful right now to, to go for gold bullion. Um, and, of course, if you get the one-tenths, you're going to pay outrageous premiums on it. And so it's better if you could get the bigger, the bigger gold piece you can get, the better percentage on the premium you're going to get. But, man, is it risky. I think it's just really risky. I mean, it just... It just kind of scares me to get in that to, to even think about buying any bullion. Um, and I, I'm not going to sit there. If someone comes across, say, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take this for it. And I know it's a lot higher. I, I can't honestly do that. I would I would feel guilty. So I can't do that. You know, get it for a ridiculous low price and say, you, you know, it's this. Because people don't keep up with the prices with it. So they would probably have no idea. They probably still think it's uh, 1500 or 1600 you know, and maybe maybe give me a really good deal on it. And I would say, nah, I can't do that to them. Too honest. Can't help it. Um, and on the auctions, if you see on my community page, there's some neat items on there. If you're a poor, if you like to pour, you got to check out that first picture I put on there. That's an antique. That's one of, like, one of the first ones that people use to pour their metals with it. It's pretty cool. It would be neat just, if you'd like to pour, it'd be neat just to have it. And uh, and there's there's uh, nickel silver, silverware. There's a bunch of good stuff on the auction. There's comp, comp, oh, is Jessica still here? Broke stackers here. Uh, Kincaid. There's two 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 paintings of, of Kincaid on there. Mucho money, dudes. That that goes for big bucks. These are nice ones. They're not originals because you know nobody can afford original from him. Uh, these are nice. Um, I don't know for sure if he signed them. He could have. I think they're limited. They are awesome. But I'm telling you, I like to have them. But Thomas Kincaid, everybody likes Thomas Kincaid. I think he's really big, especially in the, probably in the South. I like him. Very valuable. But the shipping on those would be ridiculous, and I just can't do it. If he was close in the state, say, 10-mile radius, I'd just go get him. I'd buy him and then go get him. But I can't because he's too far away. I'll have to ship. And I bet you uh, Jessica probably knows what I'm talking about. You know, the smaller pictures, no problem because you can put them in a regular box. It's not high for shipping. The larger ones, oh, man, are they expensive. But I'd love to have those Thomas Kincaid's. I think Jessica left us. I don't see her saying anything. So, those are on there. They're, and they're pretty cool. I think maybe I have one Thomas Kincaid. And I think it's a smaller one. I don't think it's worth much. But anyway, I don't think anybody here knows who... Uh, oh, Jack Terry. A, a, a painter, Jack Terry. Uh, I, that name does not hit me very much. Is that, did they do animals? Wildlife? Driving and listening. Yeah, I, I don't think it's good everybody's driving and listening. Uh, it's okay, but, you know, you don't want to check what's going on in chat. So, anyway, so now I will ask the 12 of you remaining... I think if we got the 13, are you going to buy gold? And if you're going to buy gold, is it going to be bullion? Uh, is it going to be one-tenth, half, or one ounce? Because, man, that, that's a big decision you're making right now. You got to have nuts of steel. <laughs> I think. I think you do. To have confidence, it's going to continue to go up because I don't know with what happened. It didn't. It just got me confused. Okay, Bet Beto is going to buy gold jewelry. You can get that usually at spot, uh, depending if it's broken. If it's broken, you can get a real good deal on it. If it's newish looking or not bad, just needs to be clean. You're probably going to go. You're probably lucky now to get that. Maybe a spot, a little under spot, but that's still a big buy because the price is so high.
He is holding off on his gold. How much gold do you own? Uh, now, don't say it. I get in trouble. I, I, I want, I'm curious. I ask, and then everybody gets upset that I ask that question because they they say nobody's know that. So I better I better withdraw the question. Yeah, platinum. Now, platinum Joseph is it. That's a good dude. That's a good deal. It is. Trust me. I've been around, and, and it just don't get this low and stay this low. It just don't happen. O.C. Stacker got the money. He went out and got a one-ounce gold lady, Fortna, Fortna, at Costco. O.C., the balls of steel. We're gonna have to start calling you balls of steel, man. Cause you gotta have you gotta have some. <laughs> you gotta to do it, I think. JM left me, didn't he? It's too bad. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could have got on quicker. He could have been on here. Okay, Western. Jack Terry. I'll have to look him up. Yeah, I know. If it if it falls, if it go if it gets to seven fifty people, you got at least buy one ounce of platinum. I mean, trust me, you won't be making a mistake. Go for it. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna lose. I, I will tell you that you won't lose with it. Oh, David, you want it on a you want it on a show on one of the places on here. You don't really need a lot, David. You don't need a lot of gold. Yeah, you know, I think people go overboard on the gold. I really, and, and you know, a lot of people on here say, don't invest metals to get rich, but I really believe they're investing in gold because they think it's going to make them rich. I, I really do. I mean, even if they say it, uh, oh, no, I'm just, it's just insurance. Uh, I I think they've got alternative means or um, alternative reasons for buying gold. They think it's going to go, like, to the moon or something. And But you don't need a whole lot. If you've got silver, copper, nickel, I mean, whatever metal you have, you probably do need a little gold, I think, but you don't need a whole lot of gold. I don't think so. I mean, silver, they're not going to be able to keep silver 30 and under forever. They're just not. Is it going to go to 10 million? No, it won't. But I think you'll be able to get about a three to one return on it eventually. I'll tell you what, you cannot get platinum jewelry cheap, it's just so rare. You know, and a lot of times if you see it, it's going to be a big brand like Vera Wang. She makes her line in platinum, one line. And you pay for the name. You know, it's like if you buy silver through Tiffany, you're paying for that Tiffany name. It just makes it go, it, it makes it go like 10 times what the spot value would be. Uh, and I do have a Vera Wang uh, platinum item. So I do have it. I got it for a good price. That was years ago. But... Yeah, I mean, if, if platinum jewelry, it, you, it's just really hard to get it. I tell you, the best way or the best chance you got with platinum is getting it cheap. The cheapest way to get it is dental. Some fillings are are platinum. The people that sell it either don't really know or know and won't tell you, and they're just bullcrapping you. But you have to test it. But the cheapest way to get platinum would definitely be by buying uh, dental, platinum dental uh, work. And I mean, you could get it for 25 cents on the dollar that way. But you're taking a huge risk because it looks like silver in de when they do dental. And, you, and white gold. You know, there's white gold in dental. So it's just hard to do. I've, oh, if I can get it for a 
the price of silver, and it and it's kind of different colors of white metal. I probably would gamble and buy the lot and hope that I've got platinum. Of course, white gold ain't exactly bad. I mean, white gold, and you're going to get uh, white gold. You're going to get a you're going to get a deal if it is. But most people don't know when they get it. They buy it at a state sale, or it's kind of gross. It really is. But hey, if I can get platinum for twenty five cents on the dollar, I'll be more than happy to buy it. I can wear gloves. I can wear Thule gloves, and not touch it. Chef is going to buy seventy five ounces worth of sterling coins. Really? You got you found that many sterling coins from somebody? I tell you, man. If L.A. wasn't crazy, <laughs> a crazy place, I might have to move out there. Find some of these deals. Beat Chef to the punch and say, I got that deal. But I don't know. But they, they, there definitely are 925 uh, sterling uh, coins. I have some. Uh, and at one time, you could get them, actually get a pretty good deal on them. I mean, basically, like, no, if you bought them from somebody, there was no... No uh, premium figured in, or what they had to pay for them, or whatever. So one time, I, I was looking for those, searching. I tell you what, Chef's going to be retired by fifty at this rate. He's going to be having, he's going to have smelting operations all over LA. He's going to have five or six operations going. I'm reading the chat. That's why I'm being quiet. I know it. I know it, Holmes. He gets, uh, he's getting some deals. Nickel stack in LA. Yeah, that might work. You know, I'm, I'm, well, my other, my, my other account has street tips in it. I don't think I've got him. I don't think I've got him on this one. I've got so many, I can't put everybody on. But I do get, when I'm on the other channel, sometimes I see him and go watch. It, he's pretty interesting. He, it's pretty cool what he does. Nickel's hand. Oh, yeah, I know, on the camera. Yep, and see, with Chef, because I'm keeping my stuff. If I get started with silverware, I keep it. Because I'm waiting for that moment where they just can't control silver any longer, and it goes not to the moon. I don't believe in that, but I do believe it definitely get to 100. I mean, 100's not out of the, I mean, some people say, oh, wow, 100, that's a wow. It isn't. It's not. $100 is not that much today. Think about it. What do you pay for stuff today? A hundred's nothing. If you convert a hundred day to the seventies, that would be probably twenty, twenty-five dollars an ounce. It's not ridiculous. It's it's not. But people make a big deal because a hundred sounds like a big number. It's not. It would a hundred dollar silver wouldn't mean that much. It wouldn't. And but it'd be nice. It'd be nice to see it get there. And uh, then would I sell my sterling silverware? Would I sell my sterling jewelry? Would I do that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it probably, again, it would probably correct and go back down to 50. If it did it, it wouldn't stay at 100 long. Uh, a lot of people, oh, man, people would come in with everything to sell silver. Anything with silver, they'd be selling it, which will knock the price back down. Increase the supply. So it wouldn't be there long. I, I probably I might sell some at a hundred. I wouldn't sell a lot. I'd sell some at a hundred. If it gets to, if it ever got to two hundred, I'm out of silver, people. I'm silver retired because I would go ahead and cash that in for the cash and turn that try to turn that cash into something real quick. <clears throat> and so I would I would definitely do that. And but I I really want gold. I, I like the gold getting to three thousand. That's what I'm hoping for. I think it's a long shot now. 
and then convert that to platinum. And then the three to one ratio, you can't lose. You can't lose at that. I mean, I think anybody's pretty much crazy. If I was in the gold bullion, I'm not really a gold bullion person. If I was, I would take half of that gold bullion, sell it, and then do the platinum. Get the three to one ratio. It's 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 probably will never happen again. Probably never ever happen. Who we got now? Oh, John Camper's in here. Arnie C's here. Crypto Knights here. Wow. Um, so, and I'm still hoping Rhodium go get drops to 750. If it'll drop to 750 for me, even if it's a day, I plan at least buy an ounce of it. I'll, I'll call up uh, Money Metals. Say, hey man, give me an ounce. And we'll get and I'll get that and I'll have some more of that again. <clears throat> so and oh by the way, I'm gonna tell you who the guy was I was supposed to I was supposed to interview. Initially he said yes, hey, I'll do it. I think they'll take it down if I come back to YouTube. I'll, I, I I don't think they'll keep it up. And I said, hey, I'll take the chance. Because I wanted to come back on and explain to everybody what happened to him. Well, he emailed me. Oh, on his site, I asked him uh, on a video, on a comment. He said, sure. Then he emailed me and said, I don't think I really want to do that. So he backed out on me. And that was Greg Hunter of USA Watchdog. I bet you Kemper knows who, John knows who he is. And I almost had him on. And he would it'd be huge. I've never had anybody that big before. And, but he said, maybe later, he said, but he said so much is going on now and stuff. He just didn't want to do that. I think if I'd had more, uh, subs, bigger station, bigger channel, I think he probably would have done it. Uh, I think he is going to have more shows on than he normally does updating what's going on with guests, but still, how long would it take to do a, let's say 45 minute show? You know, it wouldn't have taken that long. And I had a bunch of stuff to ask him. And, uh, but, if, so he said yes. Then he said no. So I don't get him. So, and I may approach uh, Ted Nugent's people and see if I couldn't, can't get him on for an election show, which then some people won't come in for that. But he's got that link with the uh, gun community. I'm going to ask him about the issues with the gun people, how a lot of them won't vote for Trump now because of the, uh, the laws, the uh, red flag laws and the suppressor and the butt stock and all that other stuff. And I wanted to go over that with him. I don't think he's really going to want to talk about that a whole lot. If I get him on, he might come. He's been on channels with 500 people before. So I'll have to, I'll have to check and see if I can't get his attention and see if he wouldn't want to do that. You know, so that would be an election show about the coming up election. I will ask him, if I can get him on, I will ask him, if I got into that safe of you that's behind you on your all your videos or shows, would I find any gold in there or any silver in there? And just see if he'll admit that he does gold and silver because I'm kind of thinking he surely has some. But I would like to ask him. Nobody's ever asked him that question. So anyway, so I got hope. Maybe I can get him instead. He would be about as big as uh, Hunter would be. Oh, Japanese silver. Yeah, I've I've I bid on them. I've got a few. I bid. I did really go after them for a while. Uh, never could get a good price on them. I don't know if he knows Yankee is. I don't think he knows Yankee. And I'll tell you, it is a good show. It is John Camper because he'll talk about the things that you like to talk about. He, you know, I got to give the guy. You got to give the guy credit. He 
I'll go since he's not going to be here to, to say he was on here. He had 90 million views. He had 300,000 subs. He comes right out. He's an investigative reporter. Used to be for CNN. He comes out and says, hey, this here is going to kill you. It's going to make you sick. It's not what I say it is. It's not going to keep you from getting it. You might not want to take it. That he wasn't going to take it. He starts getting strikes. <clears throat> they don't like that. Then he says, well, actually, first before that, no, after that, he said the election was fixed. Trump won. They fixed the election. He said that election night. I'm not with him. I'm going. I had to be what happened. Well, between those two things, he was getting strike, 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 strike. And then they started going back, looking at his older videos, say, oh, you violated a rule there. And then they threw him off. And I knew it was going to happen. I said, you're going to be off within a week. Because I would comment on his stuff. I said, man, they got you. You're, you're gone. They're, they're going to get you. They're going to go back. They're going to get you. You're out of here. He did. And then for a while, he didn't know what to do. And people were telling him all along, hey, you're getting strikes. You better get to another type of, of um, social media. Get there. And he's not allowed on Facebook, I don't think, either, by the way. I think Facebook threw him off. Um, and so he didn't have it set up. He said, this is where I get monetized. I depend on the income. I don't do anything else. He didn't think that he could get started on something else. Well, now he finally had to. He's on different, different, uh, he's on, um, Rumble. Uh, he's on, a, I think, I think he's still on Twitter or X and he does that. But, um, yeah, he depends on donations and depends on, uh, sponsors. Because that's his job. That's what he does for a living. That's what he. That's what he eats, and he's and he uh, buys groceries with. So he had to do it. But he was still brave enough to do it. And even after the warnings, he he did change the way he did it. And he, we kind of talked in code. But they still got him. They, I knew he was going to get him. And I knew when they got rid of uh, Texas Austin Texas guy Jones. I knew, I said, well, they're going to come after you. They'll come after you. They'll come after him. Nobody stood up for Jones. If you remember, nobody did. You know, if everybody right there would have said, hey, uh -uh, we ain't we ain't taking that. You're not going to do it. Is he right all the time? No. Does he get carried away? Yes. Is he, you know, he's probably 50-50 right. And 50% 50, 50 is probably theory. But we're not going to put up with it. If you do that, we're all gone. Nobody did that. And I knew once they got by with it. I knew they was going to start going after everybody on here. No, uh, constitutional still on here, Craig. So, anyway, I wish I could have got him. It would have been nice to. I've talked with him, emails and stuff like that. So, I think he kind of knew who I was. Uh, probably didn't know I had a channel. And so, it would have been neat to have him on. It would have been because we would have hit every subject you could think of. We would have talked about depopulation. Uh, we might have worked out a code system before just so YouTube wouldn't home in on it and... Because they would take my video down. They probably would have. But I told him, I said, even if they do, I said, we could do the live, and then everybody in the live would hear everything. And, you know, at least it, at least that, at least the original version would have got out before they took down the the after version. And but and he may yet. You know, he, he may say, hey, I got some time. Well, let's do it. You know. And uh, so he may yet. And he, he didn't say he was totally, he didn't say forever. He just said, for now, I can't. It doesn't mean in the future we won't. So he did leave the door open, and so I might be able to get him. And it would be a huge, that'd be a huge thing. I'd probably be nervous because I'll be like, man, because usually it's people within the community. And uh, he does believe in gold and silver. And that was going to be a question I asked him. I said, do you have more silver than gold or more gold than silver? Because I think gold and silver is all he's interested in. <clears throat> and I'm betting he probably has more silver.
That's probably why. He's probably got some gold, but he probably mostly relies on silver. <clears throat> Well, I had questions. I had questions about Trump. And that would be, he's for Trump. I'm for Trump. Most of you in here are for Trump, I think. Or you you rather have Trump than, maybe not for Trump, but you'd rather have Trump than what we got. I mean, my Lord, if, if you're not dead, you want Trump more than what we got. Even if you don't like him. I just think it's logical. Because look what's going on. Um, I was going to ask him about that. The red gun, the red flag laws, all that stuff, and say, hey, don't that hurt him? You know, I mean, how is he going to get some of those people back if he does it? He's got to modify, modif modify his view on all this. He needs to step back some on the that and say, hey, it ain't for everybody. There is some problems. Come clean about that. You know, you're going to get extra votes for that if you do. People will appreciate that you did that. Uh, I don't think Trump understood the red flag laws. You know, he's thinking, oh, it's crazy people and they're stopping them. No, it's the it's the powers that be that don't like anyone having guns and using that law to take your guns. And by the way, they can have them up to a year. Did you know that? So they can, they can take your guns for a year. You can't do a darn thing. Didn't do anything wrong. Following your amendment right. And they can keep them. There is a big problem with that. I do not like those laws. Uh, I don't think that uh, Trump was, uh, what would you say, informed about it right. And he needs to reverse that. He definitely does. But stocks, I don't think, have a thing to do with anything. I, I just don't. I think it's a weak issue. And it's just to aggravate gun owners. You know, and anyway. But if Biden gets in again. We got still 14. If Biden gets in again, I think he's going to try natural registry. That's bad news, people. <laughs> that's, that's real bad news because you always have a natural registry before you confiscate. You got to have that to do the other. And so that's a bad thing. And that tells me if they get to that point where they try that. And by the way, I think they've tried it before. Never got the votes. If, if, uh, if he has the votes to do it. And I'm telling you, these Republicans, they're not pro-gun. They're not a gun owner's friend. They, you know, they, they, there's enough people in their district that think guns kill everybody. They guns just jump up and shoot people, and we've got the school problem. It's, it's, it's how you're raised, by the way. That's going to do it. If you're raised right, you're never going to shoot another person unless that person's actually doing something to you in a crime. You're not going to do that. It's because people are not raised right. And that's the problem. That's why it happens. It's not the gun. It's the person that picks the gun up that doesn't have any morals. That's what does it. And so, because when I was in school, most most kids had two parents. And the dad beat the living devil out of you when you did that. That's just the way it was then. That was the norm. We never had a gun shooting. We never had a knife stabbing. We didn't have racial problems. When I went to high school, I think I know of one fight between a black guy and a white guy, and it was over football. It was not over race. Then Obama gets in there, makes everything a race issue, and he did. If Barbara Cabone was here, she'd be smoking mad. Her hair would be on fire right now, but it's the truth of it. <laughs> he, he caused the racial issues in the country. Um. It's just the way it is, because I just didn't see any problems. I, I just didn't until after Obama. Got a message here. Crypto Knights here. Who else? Yeah, I know it. She thinks she's a great president. She thinks that his, his policies are just fantastic and they're working.
uh, crypto night, it, it, it really has. Well, at least it stopped going up. It's not. I mean, it's really not. When you look at the percentages going up, it, it, that it, it's, it, the days it goes up, it's less than 1% now. It has just come to a screeching halt. It's going, it's, I'm, I'm saying it's hit a brick wall and you're not going to see the gains that we've been seeing. I think it's going to hang around 2,400. That's what I think is going to happen. Because if you won't, if it didn't go up with all the crap that's been going on the last three days, what's going to make it go up anymore? Because they're not going to lower interest rates. They, they're they going, they might lower it one, one, one time this year. And that will probably give it a little bit of a boost, but. That's not doing it. It's not going up with all the war stuff going on, all the fighting. Well, I, I think silver's doing pretty good, actually. I mean, it's close to 30. When's the last time it's been close to 30? So when's the last time? So it's been a while. It, it, silver could very well go past 30. Uh, I, I don't worry about silver. I think silver's got some room to go up. But I think gold, I think it's coming to, I think the gains that you saw are not going to be very much from this point on. I just don't think so. I don't think so, OC. I don't, I don't think. Um, how do you know? I haven't been on here, Crypto Knight. I haven't been on here. In ten, I haven't been on here for 10 years. I've only been doing my channel for it, this, this channel for a little over a year. Crypto Knight, is this, is this, I know who this is, Kenji. Kenji, Kenji, Kenji. Got so many different <laughs> accounts. I don't think so, OC. Uh, look what happened. Israel bombs the consulate or whatever you want to call it. Go does nothing. Then uh, Iran shoots the missiles into Israel. Go does nothing. Israel fires back, and by the way, they didn't do a whole lot in Iran, but they did do a whole lot in Iraq, and they did do more in uh, Syria. So they hit three fronts. Go did nothing. Now, if they go to exterminate, and I mean, yes, exterminate Hezbollah in Lebanon, if they go into Lebanon, I don't know. I mean, that's uh, tanks and men and death and... You know, you see that. I don't know. If they do that and go don't do nothing, then I'm thinking, I think go to the brick wall. I mean, they, if it's not going to go up with that, I don't know what's going to do it today. I really don't. I mean, what else is left out there is as bad as that. They can make go go up. Show me 10 ounces of gold. I probably shouldn't say. I did actually say the other day on uh, Tuli's live. She don't like us doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two brothers stacking. You all, okay, is that each brother or that split in half or that's the two of you together? 237 ounces of gold. I guarantee you it's more than I got. Uh, that's not bad. So it's a split down the middle. That means you've both got about 118 apiece. Do a home. Who is Crypto Knight? That's got to be Kenji. Is this Kenji? 
I'm not going to do nothing until you tell me if you're Kenji or not. You are Kenji, is that correct? Just kidding. Well, you know, two brothers. That's why there's two, and there's a there's two brothers. Whatever you have is split down the middle. Is that, that's, I would think that would be the way you'd have to do it. So whatever you have, it's half. Whatever the total. I, unless you got more than one brother, it could just be two brothers that's on, and you might have four or five brothers that's in, it's all invested. I don't know. Two ounces of gold. Well, I, like I told, who did I tell? Who did I say that to a while ago? I, and they said something about they didn't have much gold. Oh, uh, David, I don't think you have, have to have a whole lot of gold. I'm, I'm just telling you, I don't. I think, I think in the long haul of it, and we're talking years and years and years, if you don't get cancer and die or something come up, emergency, I think silver's going to cover us. I really believe because you're, you're getting more and more and more and more. And eventually, it don't have to be very much an ounce, and you've got a buttload of value there. And I think silver's going to cover us. I told you, that's my Social Security. I, I don't depend on the government Social Security. Well, my actually, it's my money. They stole it, used it for other stuff. I don't depend on that because I don't think it's going to be there. But I think my silver will come through. I really like silver. Uh, and if you want to try to get a medal for wealth, I think platinum is the thing. I, I really do. I really believe in platinum. I think platinum has the best potential for a bigger return. Um, and I think that will cover you too. I don't think you have to have gold. I really do not. I think it it's probably, probably good that you have some because some people you deal with, they, they won't deal with you unless you have gold. It's got to be gold, only gold. We want gold. So you have some gold. But I don't think it's as important as a lot of people on, the, on this uh, YouTube say. I, I just don't. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it, the amount of gold I have or don't have. Because I think I've got enough medals everywhere, whatever which way else, that I think I'm going to be okay on it. Takes a week to count. Uh, well, Kenji, because I know it's now it's Kenji, because he talked about the banks buying silver. Uh, first of all, you're not going to sell anything to a bank or an institution, because when they buy something like that, not many banks want silver. I don't think. I think mainly, mainly they want gold. You're gonna, they're going to be buying bars, could you know, five thousand ounces and stuff. They're going to be doing the big time transaction. So I don't think any of us is going to sell to any of those. You're going to sell to another stacker. You're going to sell to a broker, online broker. You're going to sell to an LB, uh, L, um, uh, local coin dealer. There's your avenues to do it. Uh, individual, LCS, online broker. That's that's pretty much your, your, your choices. Um, I'm not even for sure we could sell to a foreign country. If if China approached me and said, hey, we know you got a lot of silver, dude. We'll give you $75 an ounce for it. I'm not for sure legally I could sell that to China. I'm not for sure I can. I'm sure there's some trade action or something. I'm probably be breaking some law as an individual. I'm not for sure I could do it. I don't think I can. Someone needs to check that out. That'd be a good something to look up to see if you can. <laughs> That's got to be Kenji. Because Kenji's argument is silver takes up too much room. You have to take it with you or something, even though you can ship it. Even knowing you could have silver in um, 
electronic form and send it. Um, so that, that argument doesn't pan out. A lot of crypto people do argue that, uh, but that's not the case. It's just not. But I would rather have something physical that I can see. Uh, what have I got? I don't have anything here to show y'all, I don't think. Now, do I want physical lip balm? Or do I want <laughs> imaginary lip balm? Because imaginary lip balm ain't going to do me no good. I'm going to get sunburnt. I'm going to get frozen or whatever. Chapped. This pre prevents it. It's kind of the same thing. You know, do you have imaginary silver and gold and, and crypto, that imaginary stuff? Or do you have the real physical thing that you can get in two minutes, pick it up, squeeze it, flip it, have it, uh, shine it. Don't, don't, don't do that. Shine it. And uh, that's the differences in it. You know, some people... Oh, the real world? Real world, you hold it, you stack it, you own it. And there's fantasy. Cryptos, ETFs, paper. You're, you, you've got goodwill. I think this person I can trust. I think this person will have what I, I own, and I'll be able to get it when I need it. Even if there's no electricity and you can't trade. Because if there's no electricity, you can't trade stocks, you can't trade ETFs, you can't trade crypto. And we're going to get into a situation here where we may not have electricity some some parts of the day because our grids are so old. And then think if we go UV, you got to charge them up. Everybody's going to charge them up at the same time. Am I not correct? They're going to charge them up. If they charge them all at the same time, that's going to put so much freaking stress on the grid, it's going to shut it down. I'm telling you, it's going to be a mess. And I think I, I think most on here will back me up and say that's correct. Uh, I don't buy anything crypto night from China. I mean, I might buy something here. It's got China on it because I didn't see it. We should. That's no thing. We need to buy American. Uh, we really do. We need. We got to go back. We got to go back to, we got to go back like the 50s. Yep, solar generator, I need to get one of those. I keep saying it, never get around it. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. It's gonna be on the auctions, and I'm gonna get it for a pretty good price, and I'll just pay extra to ship it and get it. Uh, <clears throat> fake wealth, crypto night. Fake wealth. It's all fake wealth. Most companies in the stock market don't even make anything. They don't make anything. They have no assets. It's fake. Fake system. The Ludite. I knew it. I knew it was you, Kenji. Only Kenji uses Ludite. And and what is a Ludite again? Is that um Amish? I thought some Amish sects were Ludite. The saying is, buy low, sell high. So if you bought gold at a thousand an ounce, this would be the time to sell. You bought low, a thousand. You sell high, 2,400. That's the logic. And the people that did that are smart. You know, and I think they did the right thing. And I would say, we did, they asked me, what should I do it? I'd say, go ahead. <clears throat> because you did, you bought it at 1000 you, you, You're doing well. 
course, you're going to pay taxes, but, you know, but you did well. That's what you do. That's that's what you do on it. Uh, and so you say with silver, well, silver's around 30. Is that low? Well, it's a lot lower than what its all-time high is. I would still say that'd be buying low and potentially selling high, say 50 or 60, doubling your money. So that's why I like silver. Still like silver. I think silver's still a good price. And platinum, really good. 2300 was its all-time high. It is, what you, someone mentioned it a while ago, what it was. It's about what? Um, just under 900 in it. Hey, 900 times 3 is 2700. So you're still getting it for a heck of a deal based on the 2300 high it was. So I think if you buy platinum, you're buying lower, maybe not the lowest, but you're buying low. But the potential selling high. So I, I do. I really do. Lord have mercy. Crypto night. Trades make us wealthy. Yeah, I know. Supposedly Lambos, but he never has proved to me he has one. He did have a site with stuff for sale. Might have been his dad's, and he might work for his dad or something. I don't know for sure about that, but he did have stuff, I will say. I know, Ed, that's scary. Uh, well, I mean, okay, what has been so good about technology? People with cell phones never really talk to each other. They don't talk in person. They can be right next to each other and they're texting each other. They're always looking at it. I don't see where cell phones are so great. Yeah, it's great if you're, well, I'd say even if you're in the boondocks, you, you can't get the signal for half the time. I don't think, I just don't think technology is all it's cracked up to be. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a way of making you replace something that you had that perfectly worked in order to have to buy something higher because they think it works better. So, I'm not a technology guy. We'll see, Kenji. We will see. So anyway, unless some issues come up, I don't know about it. I think we've talked it over. And heck, I went an hour. I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, like I said, just really think it over before, you know, uh, before you go in and be buying uh, ounces of silver at this price, especially with the with the slowdown in the in the price and it's not just just not going up like it was all the stuff was going on so I agree with you John Camper I'm telling you I agree with it not to mention that it's supposed to increase your chances of cancer. I know someone's going to say, oh, no, the cancer ploy. Yeah, we don't know. I don't know if it, didn't, if it don't cause cancer. I know those towers do because I've had people that I used to cut for. and they, they all, like Two or three of them got brain tumors that were close to one. So I'm betting they do. Oh, the movies. Yeah, movies. The movies stink. Today's new movies stink. I'll agree with you on that, Kenji. We finally agreed on something. Well, I think I'm going to end it here, people. I'm glad everybody came in. We got up to, I think, 15 or 16, which is pretty good. I'm spare of the moment live. Um, check out Two Brothers Stacking. You'll get the latest on the prices that's going on, and especially pay attention to the silver prices. I think that's still a pretty good price. And, you know, try to get the lowest. If you're going to buy, try to get the, the lowest price you can. Uh, like I said, you got balls of steel if you buy gold. That's all I can say right now. OC, that's going to be my new nickname for him. 
Every time I see him in a chat now, I'm going to say, balls of steel. I think I made oh, OTG mad. I was just teasing him the other day about they was getting on us about him going in somewhere and being a, a troll or something. And I was just teasing with him. He hadn't been in since, I don't think. I think he got mad at me over that. Well, anyway, I was just teasing with him. So keep stack, keep packing because the times we live in and hang in there. Have your hard hat on. And oh, by the way, too, watch your surroundings. Watch for what's going to happen because Iran is definitely going to be saying U.S. did this, U.S. when we didn't really do it. And they might try something. They could have a cell in here. The the uh, border's wide open. It'd be easy to set it up. So. So pay attention, especially in New York. If you're in New York or L.A., be aware. And I will see you all soon.